listen, listen, listen. I, I gotta get something off my chest. I started this YouTube channel way, way back in the day. And back when, you know, the idea of making a career off of YouTube was just like, oh my God, that's it's so unreal. There's no such thing. What in the hell is wrong with you? Now, when I started my YouTube channel, I was originally making Naruto Storm videos, okay? This was like fresh off of Naruto Storm Revolution at the peak of being a quote-unquote Naruto-tuber, an anime-tuber, double four anime, and uh, that one other dude with the busted lip. They were just running wild, man. Running wild all over the internet, spreading misconceptions and just fake, fake news. news everywhere, man. So shout out to all the OGs, man, from back in the day. But look here. My brothers and sisters, I gotta talk to y'all about something. Seeing this come, I don't even wanna say full circle, but in such a weird linear line that it kinda eats its own tail. Naruto is the thing that started my channel, okay? Naruto was the thing that my first five videos were ranked marathon campaigns and coming up with critiques on how to make the Naruto Storm franchise better. But that just never happened. <laughs> not only did that never happen but it just it's gone downhill uh, i'm such a huge fan of the storm games and to see this naruto storm connections game be in the state and the way that it is i just i don't know i i don't know where it goes from here as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna leave a video link down in the description by this guy. His name is Jay Vance a lot. He, he has made, honestly, as far as quality, the best critique video of Naruto Storm Connections. Go check out his video. It breaks it down in less than five minutes way better than I ever could articulate in any type of it, it would take me 20 minutes to explain all the stuff that he talks about in five go ahead and show him some love matter of fact here's a clip what is up with the animations on these menus you guys have seen the previous storm games how they tried <laughs> history mode is a PowerPoint presentation it ends here there's only 10 boss battles, and the intros are completely skipped. They also treat each phase as a different level. Did I mention that they also redub these fights for some reason, and they sound absolutely terrible? Did that wake you up? They took away the ability to select your own jutsu. Now there's a set two per character, and that's it. So how do you use specific moves as Kakashi? Well, they split him into three, Guy into two, Naruto into six. They split Kid Sasuke into two, and they're both stuck with this shitty Chidori. I was at least excited for Phoenix Flower Jutsu to come back from Storm 1, but they changed it to this. I really wish they'd just give us back his curse mark Chidori from Storm 1. This would, it would take them literally nothing. If they're going to be reusing voices, why can't they just give us back the good ones? Back to this shit, there are four Boruto blocks in this game. There's two Hanabis for some reason. Back to two Killer Bees, three Garas. There are 156 character blocks that you have to fumble through the menu to because when you pick one, it auto-scrolls to a random page. They still didn't fix this. Naruto, the last Hokage costume when he awakens, he has a headband out of nowhere. Even the PS5 can't handle these triple awakening, it slows down the game. But to see it exist in 2023 with no lobby support, no multiplayer functionality on xbox like charging 60 70 dollars for a dlc this is this is the one thing i've been advocating against since like 2015 2014 right around there is when i really started making anime related content not just on this channel but on multiple channels you know with other content creators that no longer exist on this platform so shout out to them this is not really something i wanted to see for the next Naruto Storm game. And obviously I have said many, many times that you need to vote and speak with your wallet, but to see that Naruto Storm Connections is still getting purchased by people, not getting refunded, people still complaining about it online, like this is not, it's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. And obviously game development has changed over the years. Of course, we can acknowledge that anybody with half a brain who understands video games exist and how video games are created. I mean, I knew if there was gonna be another Naruto Storm game, it was either gonna be one of two things after Storm 4. It was either going to be the redemption that the Storm series needed and it was gonna be the greatest send off in the history of ever. There's still obviously a chance to get a Naruto Storm 5 that has the highest quality possible that we could want from a Naruto arena fighter game. And of course, you know, there's the whole competitive aspect and everything. 
or this game was going to be the worst thing we have ever seen in the anime platform 3d fighter arena space especially coming off of jump force so either they're going to learn from the other from their peers in the industry and cyber connect 2 namco bandai as well as the entire development team were either going to look at these as examples of failures that existed in the space and we need to improve on that and we need to make our next game better or they're just going to throw something together that you know hey we need some extra money coming in let's just Take this Naruto and add Boruto characters and then charge $60 for it and let's just break in the money that we can get and then we'll go from there. Y'all gotta start talking with your wallets, man. Fortunately, I have not purchased the game. Um, <laughs> I've seen many of my friends who are so desperate, so, so desperate for views and content and that's the hardest part. I tweeted about this maybe six, seven, eight months ago that Naruto Storm Connections was going to be the game that was just terrible it's going to come out and y'all are still gonna buy it you're still gonna complain about it and then get 200 views a video and complain that the that the game sucks but still grind it every single day trying to get views it's i understand it's tough to be a content creator in such a very niche space and there's no phenomenal good games there's not like a call of duty release every single year there's not a constant updating game that comes out like an apex legends or a fortnite or something like that that exists within this small anime gaming niche space so you have to buy whatever comes out and play it until it breaks and then you move on to the next one i understand the need for content i understand the need to get views and try and make a living get your you know get your family together you see all these other content creators that make an entire living off of the very same interest that you do but here's the thing guys not all views are good views there's just some things that I wish a lot of you would draw the line. I understand that some of you have decided to make a pivot and decide to critique the very games that you would like to play and cover, but also at the same time, you're fueling this machine of, you didn't get the game for free. Now, if you got the game for free, and not like somebody else purchased it for you like the development team and the publisher decided on a uh, on giving you a free copy of the game that was not paid for that's not coming out of anybody's pocket okay if you are an invitation player that's different i i feel like that's different because you're not fueling into financially and monetarily you're not fueling into this giant i wouldn't even say it's giant this mid-sized mediocre wheel of turning out the same bullshit every single time but if you are somebody who went out here and spent sixty dollars seventy dollars for the newer consoles or if you're getting it on pc or something like that and expecting a higher quality game and then or you're one of these apologizers like no 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 they're gonna let them cook let them cook they're gonna fix it like bro you have to look at patterns and some of y'all don't do that so i i make this video mostly because i really wanted to get back into what it was that made me make youtube videos in the first place and it was really just to creatively construct criticism amongst you know video game development and, and specifically in the anime space like there have been so many mediocre games to come out and so many games that have milked their dlc into oblivion on a bad game and honestly you know what before we even get into any tenkaichi 4 or sparking zero conversations on this channel i need to say give flowers to the dimps team over at making xenoverse 2 content year after year after year holding y'all over until sparking zero was announced holy shit so if you guys could start making different videos please i i, I need people in this space to start in this niche please start making different videos man start making different type of unique videos because y'all copying each other and doing the fucking marathon runs and all this shit like please please i need y'all to like have some opinions have some critiques that go viral man i i understand that you'll have these like one-off people like afro senju or or rhyme or uh omega all of these people they'll have like their one or two videos where they're like yeah i'm just gonna kind of critique a little bit but also you can't really trust their opinion too much because they're given the game for free they're also creators who are paid to participate in 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 these conversations with these because let me tell you something right now the difference between 
500 uh, small content creators having a similar idea and critiquing multiple parts of Naruto Storm Connections or even any anime game in this space is completely different than one video from Afro Senju saying, ah, this game is okay. Like, maybe we could change this, maybe we could change that. Obviously, the developer and the publisher's ear goes more one way, but having 500 people not purchase the game compared to Afro Senju making a video that gets 272,000 views. You see what I mean? Like, one holds just as much weight as the other, if not more, but... 500 people not purchasing a video not purchasing a video game and then encouraging other people in that space to also not purchase this video game because of the level of mediocrity that holds way more weight than this one person saying you should still buy the game and then getting paid off of the content of them critiquing the actual video game that you're planning on buying like it's just it's this never-ending cycle and it's the same thing when it comes to content creation and smaller creators trying to do what bigger creators do you just can't do it it just doesn't apply to you because when this person farts they make money in comparison to you a smaller creator who has to grind up the ladder me included i'm i'm nowhere near being able to make a living off of this channel like i just barely started making money a few years ago and then i flopped it by not uploading so Listen, if you are one of my peers watching this video, thank you. I appreciate you for making it this far. And I don't want you to think like, oh, this guy is talking shit. This is just creative criticism. I really need y'all to come up out of the space, watch some other videos from other creators in different genres and see how they do things and how you can implement that in this space. Because that's really what's gonna take you from being one of these low level creators bitching and moaning like myself and actually providing something that nobody else can in the space that makes you unique to watch. So then you can be one of the bigger voices when you critique something and you actually tell people, please do not buy this game because it's mediocre. People might actually listen. Anyway, thank you guys for listening to me rant on this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to let me know. Uh, I haven't made a video in so long, so I, I just kind of needed to get this shit off my chest, to be honest. I wanted to talk about the Game Awards. I wanted to talk about Spider-Man. I wanted to talk about all these other things, but I haven't really had the emotional like capacity or even time to really like formulate and compute how I wanted to say things. But if you guys want to check out uh, the podcast, actually, where I do talk about a bunch of that stuff, I'm going to leave a card on screen for you guys right there. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on the notifications, all that good shit. I will see you guys next time.